Welcome to pattern making class. I'm your college instructor, Annette Jolie, and today we are continuing to work on our raglan sleeve. So, all we've done at this point is deal with the bodice. We haven't even worked with the sleeve, but we've done that in several videos prior to this. So please check it out, my prior videos where we dropped the armhole, we added fullness into the armhole, in front and back, got rid of the shoulder dart, and we added the raglan sleeve seam on front and back bodice. So need to check all those videos out. And then now we have your sleeve, and we're going to modify this. You can keep this elbow dart, but you can also turn this into a sleeve with no elbow dart. Please watch my prior videos uh, for checking that out. So here, we're going to go ahead and drop our sleeve down one and a half inches at the bicep level. So I flip this upside down, taking my bicep level, going down one and a half inches, drawing a new bicep level. And let me show you what that line's gonna look like. We're gonna take the sleeve cap, you can use your hand like a compass, and you're gonna go in a bit straight and then up and blend what it's going to look like. A little bit more straight right through there, then up. The same with the other side. It's going to go straight for a little bit and then up. Blend into that cap. Okay, let's see what we can do with our ruler and how that's going to look. Get a little bit straight here. Not too curvy. Now, let me get that curve going into the cap. Great. Now let's deal with the other side. A little bit straight-ish. Not too curvy there. Now we can flip into that curve. Try to straighten my curve out a little bit. And I'm going to flip it and blend. That looks good. I'm going to pull that notch in. Now we can go ahead and cut off. Blending here at the cap. Going down towards the bicep, our new bicep line. And this is what we did for our armholes on our front and back bodices. We cut this off as well. We dropped our armholes, giving more lift for the Raglan style line. And that's what the Raglan is known for. More lift, being able to have a wider range of motion while wearing the Raglan, that is what uh, People who play baseball wear is a raglan sleeve. It's also very stylish. So now we've gone ahead and we've dropped down our sleeve cap. And like I said, you can go ahead and get rid of the dart. You can modify the dart. Uh, whatever you'd like to for the lower portion of the sleeve is your choice. Okay, so I think I'll show you guys how to go ahead and change the sleeve. So there's no dart. Grab ourselves a piece of paper.
And I only need paper for the lower section, so let me give myself that much. Let's go ahead and get the middle. Draw a new grain line, like so. You can place this down, and you can tape this down, or you can cut the whole lower section off. So sometimes I think it's fun just to cut the whole lower section off when you're modifying something. I'm going to make this sleeve without a dart. Let's go ahead and draw a line here for our bicep. Weight that down. Now let's grab some tape. Then we have the lower part of the sleeve. Go ahead and fold it on the grain line. And you can see how much you cut off or come up with another measurement. I cut off 15 and a half. Let's go ahead and mark that at the bottom. Also too, I am curious to see what is the length of the sleeve. I work with a variety of blocks. Yeah, so this sleeve is uh, 23 inches, which I love. That's a great sleeve length. Go ahead and square that out at your wrist level. And you can have a 9 inch opening. That works fine. So I'm going to go out 4.5 inches. Connect that. and bring that up to my bicep. Also too, you have your choice of curving it and you can curve a little bit at any time you want I'm going to bring it out a little bit so it blends perfectly with the other side. I'm going to weight it. And now I've changed this from a sleeve that is has a dart to a sleeve with no dart. And it's your choice what you use from the, for the raglan. And I also have another uh, demo that shows you how to change it a little bit different than the one that I just showed you. So I have multiple ways of changing from no dart, from dart to no dart. Go ahead and cut that together so it's exactly matched because this needs to be symmetrical. 
then you can cut out the cap separately. But make sure you slice right there through to the other side first. Let's go ahead and cut out our wrist. right there where we did that cut then that makes sure it's perfectly symmetrical from one side to another I had to cut out a little sixteenth of an inch to make it symmetrical and now we have the sleeve with no dart and we dropped it and here's the lower part of the sleeve with an elbow dart you can see that basically it goes over to the side and up a little bit. There we go. So in our next video, we're going to be cutting off these sections and attaching them to the top of our new sleeve. This is Annette Julie, and I look forward to you checking out my next video. Ciao!